Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Pejapati and in this video, I will be talking about one of the important questions which can be asked in the uh, PySpark uh, interview. Okay, so the question is write a PySpark query for a report that provides a customer ID from the customer table that bought all the product in the product table. So what does it mean? Let's understand. So we have, you can assume we have two data frames and I am saying that customer table and product table because I have converted this question from a SQL to PySpark. Okay. So we have a table uh, here. You can see we have customer ID, product key. You can see one, two, three, three, one, five, six, five, six, six. And then we have product table. You can assume this is a different data frame, right? And here we have the value of five and six. So what's happening actually over here? In one, in one table, we have a customer and the product key. I mean, the customer who has purchased, like, you know, I purchased a pen, I purchased laptop. So, you know, my ID is, let's say one, right? My ID is, let's say one and, and my product key is five and six, five for, for pen and six for laptop. Likewise, your ID is two and uh, you have purchased only six product key that is a laptop you did not purchase any you know you did not purchase a pen right so here we need to find out those customers who have purchased both the things like five and six and in the product table we have the product key how many product we need to find out right so we have five six so the customer IDs who have purchased both the product five and six, I need to get those names. So in the out, so the output should be uh, one and three. The output should not include second customer ID because uh, he or she did not purchase five, uh, five number product key, right? So let's see how we can do that. So I have created this data frame. I can give you also over the de description box, right? Now let's start the writing the query. So first of all, what I'll do, see, we have this product table. Why can't I join a uh, not sorry? Why can't I count the distinct product key? See, this is kind of dimension table. Okay. But ideally we should not, uh, uh, you know, write here count instead we can, we can write here count distinct so that maybe if we have a du duplicate keys, then, you know, it, it will come only a single number, not the double number. So what I can do, I can write here DF. product is equal to df product is equal to uh, product df dot aggregate count distinct and here I can pass my column name so since I have only a single uh, you know I have only a single column I can also leave it as it but I can also give the product key as a column name so ideally I will you know uh, I will give here column name that is product underscore key cool now what i will do since i have used here count distinct i have to import these functions so let me write here pies from PySpark dot sql dot functions import import count distinct also call okay now that is done also you can what you can do you can also write like this df dot distinct dot count okay you this will also work but you know since we already have a function called count distance so i have used that cool now let me display this df df underscore product so you will see we will have here two value okay now you can see this value i mean this column name is coming as count product key which is not correct so why can't i do a alias right so alias means giving a new name so i'm giving over here a new name let's say i'm giving here c and t means count products let me run this now the column name will be changed cool after that what i will do since we have now you know the product number of products right here in the customer table why can't i go by customer and i can see and then i can count how many items the customer has purchased this can be the case suppose you have customer id product key and let's say a date when the purchase has ha happened and maybe i am purchasing pen two times in a month then then maybe my you know my calculation will 
will go wrong right so that's the reason i need to use here distinct also right count of distinct product correct now what i will do here i will write df underscore customer is equal to customer underscore df dot what i can do group by right in group by i will use here call of customer key because customer id i can say on basis of customer only i need to you know uh, group the products right and since it is done since it is the group by is done what i'll do i'll use a aggregation again the same function and then count of distinct call of product key oh product underscore key right and also i will use here alias correct to change the name so cnt cnt count of product okay perfect now instead of printing here or displaying product let me print here customer and we'll see the output the output is you can see one if i just sort it one customer id1 has purchased two items second i uh, second customer has purchased only single item and now the third customer has purchased two items right now why can't i put a filter you know or uh, we can put a filter or we can also join on basis of cnt cnt underscore product right we have the same column present in the first data frame and in the second data frame if i put a join on basis of these these two columns i can get only customer id 1 and customer id 3 makes sense i hope that you have understood the concept of this right okay no problem let me write the code for you i'll write here df is equal to df dot not df dot df dot product is dot join what what i need to join df dot customer right and then what i need to do df underscore product dot cnt why it's not coming <laughs> strange no problem so products is equal to is equal to df underscore customer dot cnt underscore product On what basis? Inner join. I will use a inner join. I will not use here left join and so. Right. Now let me print here or display df. Let me run this code. It should work. Correct. Now the question saying that print only the customer names. Right. So I will customer ID. I meant. So I can use. I can select only the required columns. That is customer underscore id cool so this is the way how we can solve this problem right even though you can use instead of putting a join over here you can use a filter condition that will also work you know you do not need to put a join i kept a join i thought you know just try it to a different way okay so hence this is the reason and also you can go and check out my website there are interview questions courses project courses python courses scala courses every courses is present over the website please visit the website i will give the link in the description box so that you know you will get a chance to or you will get a link to open it please open it and check out those courses you will love it you will you know understand multiple things around 2000 people have been in my portal right so you know it's going 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 day by day and i am very thankful to you guys that you guys are following me or on youtube on linkedin or you know watching out my videos thank you bye bye take care